Trace Sport brought to you by Nokia Asia smartphones. Do it freestyle. Hi, my name is Wandilem Somi. I was born in India. Um, I reside here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, I'm 30 years old. And I've been skating for 15 years. Predominantly, that's what I do. I run a skateboard company. And uh, I skateboard for a living. Yeah. How I got into skateboarding, um, I once took a trip to Durban. And uh, I just come back from like traveling uh, traveling quite a lot with my family and um, I had a friend of mine and and uh, while I was down in Durban he just did a trick on a ledge man it was like I think it was like a backside 50 yeah if I can remember it was a backside 50 and I just got hooked man and I begged my dad for so long to get a skateboard and and got one and I've been love it I've been in love ever since really yeah and um, yeah that was like 15 years ago Duh. I've skated like a lot of places around the world. Um, not basically on contests, but like, you know, like being like, yo man, I wonder what's around that corner or what's around there, you know? Like Spain was pretty fun, Barcelona, that's super fun. Everybody knows it's the skateboard mecca, you know? And, uh, you know, I mean, I've been to Scandinavian countries, Sweden, Denmark, um, been to America, New York, Florida. Uh, Asia, Singapore. Living in a third world country, I guess, you know, it's just being able to do it, you know, just to be able to skate and not do anything else, that's a big accomplishment, you know? Like, I'm kind of really psyched that as a person, as an, as an individual, I've been able to do what I love doing and, you know, with compromises there and there, but, you know, at the same time, I'm still doing it, you know? Like, I started with so many friends skateboarding and a lot of them, you know what I mean? Like some, some cats I'll see once in a while, like, you know, but pretty much I wake up and this is what I do. And, um, and that for me is the great achievement, like especially living where I live in South Africa, you know. Yeah, with South African skateboarding, it's, it's really cool. We just celebrated like 10 years of a skateboard magazine, a South African skateboard magazine called Session. So, that was really, really sick. And to look at like, that it's actually been 10 years that a media like that has existed, you know what I mean? And been able to exist, which is absolutely great. And there's a whole entire industry behind it too, which is also cool. Um, I mean, skateboarding in South Africa, you're looking at at least like 25, you know, somewhere around there, 25 years of it. Like, you know, with a lot of people that I get to meet that I looked up to when I was younger and now it's like we work on projects together or there's something or the other or like that, you know. And there's a lot of people that I also meet or I go to like a small remote town 
and they'll tell me like, yeah, man, this ramp was built here like, what, 20 years ago or whatever. So you're looking at skateboarding in South Africa being around like 25 years. A lot of people just like growing it, you know, and growing the scene in some pretty cool ways. It's pretty cool. And um, in the last, like maybe the last 10 years, maybe like there's been like a real emergence of like black South African skateboarders, but not even just black South African skateboarders, but skateboarders like from across the country, from like, you know, going to Milneton, going to Cape Flats, going to like Kukule to the skateboarders there, Mlazi, you know, like Durban, you know, there's a lot of skateboarders there across the board. You know, Soweto, like, you know, even out here in town, there's like loads of kids that are t like riding skateboards too. And it's like a lot of kids from different brackets getting involved in it. And that's what's, that's what's pretty sick is that it's, it's opened itself up to a lot of people getting involved, you know? And uh, I'm enjoying skateboarding right now more than any other period. Maybe because I'm in, in it now, but like, damn, there's so many kids doing it, man. Like so many kids. Five things that have made a difference in my life, like one being my skateboard. <laughs> and uh, man, I've been I've been like digging Instagram lately. I've been loving that. Like Instagram has been so much fun. Um, damn, man, family, friends, and uh, just the will to do what I want to do. You know. Will, I guess. Will is one of the strongest things, you know? It's cool. Yeah, it's peace. Yeah, it's a trip being able to want to do what you want to do. Like, I find that a lot of people, and especially a lot of youth, I guess, in a way, and even people that are elderly or whatever the case is, um, older people, the, the balance of you and what is required from your surroundings is a battle that a lot of people kind of just don't really like they don't they're not able to kind of make it work you know I'm not saying that I've got it down to a T I'm also doing my own thing trying to make my stuff the way I want to do it and the way I want to survive it you know what I mean but man without my family like you know and the people behind me and like the people that want to see me succeed and want to help me do the things that I want to do, like, I wouldn't be doing this, man. Yeah, I started a skateboard company called Funisu. Uh, Funisu in Zulu means to find a solution, Ukfuna Isu. And uh, it's really been dope, and I really loved the amount that people have responded to it, like worldwide even, you know? Um, a lot of people, even from Brazil, as far as Brazil, a lot of cats are kind of feeling the idea of a South African company or an African board company, you know? which has been really, really cool. And the, and the themes and how it looks, we try to keep it as home as possible, you know? 
just like to kind of have an identity like you know that we can bring out there to people man injuries i've had i've had a few um i've torn ligaments on my right ankle like twice i've cracked my cheekbone torn skin on my cheek had to win it. like i had to go get plastic surgery on it that was pretty insane it's like it's just the drive you know like especially when you find something so challenging you know a skateboard is kind of fun because it's a piece of equipment that's external from you and you have to learn to be able to communicate like you know like any relationship with anybody or anything you know you got to learn what way to be able to make this happen or make that trick happen and so you got to be able to talk with your feet with your skateboard and it takes years to be able to do it you know what i mean to be able to have some sort of communication and and it feels good like it's something that that as a challenge was so fun that i couldn't really stop doing it and i'm still carrying on you know just like challenging myself waking up every day and kind of having a daily accomplishment you know it's like get a trick film it put it on a mag you know or film it put it out on the internet or like put it on a video you know it's like it's it's a challenge and i like the challenge you know and i think that's what makes me stay in skateboarding it's like i've fallen so many times but you know it's so fun to get up and just be like okay cool that's i need to be able to get this i need to be able to get it right you know yeah Sport brought to you by Nokia Azure Smartphones. Do it freestyle.